Let's go over the best remote tools. Now I am always in and out of a ton of different systems and I'm constantly remoting in. And for this video, I wanted to touch on a Windows tool called M Remote NG, but for you Linux users, I will give an alternative as well. So with all that said, let's get into it. I do live stream every Monday and Friday, so if you have a question for me, be sure and stop into my Twitch channel and ask me live. And if you'd like to check out these streams after the fact, you can always head over to Chris Titus Tech Streams and check out my entire archive over there. So here is Remote NG. It's capable of doing RDP, VNC, SSH, Telnet, HTTP. You pretty much name it, it can pretty much do it. So a great tool to have as I mainly use RDP to connect to Windows clients and then also VNC to connect to different VNC options I have available, whether it's a virtualized system or not, I can always connect to it using this tool. Uh, definitely get on here. You can either click download. However, I use Chocolatey to install all my stuff as I don't really like going out through the internet and, and downloading specific installer tools. So I usually just pull up my PowerShell, Coco, install M remote NG, and then I just do dash Y to say, hey, install this tool for me. So this goes out, downloads it, installs it. If you really wanna know more about chocolatey, by all means, I've made a video, I'll link it up here, but we'll go ahead and let this download and install. All right, our installation is complete. We'll exit out and launch Remote NG for the very first time. Uh, went ahead and added a desktop icon. We can do that or pull it up through the start menu. We'll go ahead and use recommended settings and then we'll display all of this right here. Now we can add specific remote connections through here. So once you get all this set up, there's a couple tools I definitely wanna recommend. One, you can actually export everything to file once you're finished, and you can also set up different folders. So I'm gonna set up a folder called home, and then I will also set up a folder called work, as sometimes I'm connecting to a different network at work and I wanna make sure I separate those two out. So for the home connection, I wanna add something to it. Let's just go ahead and say new connection. And we're gonna just say main SSH PC. And then we can actually set all our options here. We can say the host name, which you can actually type it in. However, I like to just use an IP address as that makes sure I connect every time, even if DNS is not working. And we'll go ahead, type in my username and password. And the protocol we're gonna utilize on this one is gonna be SSH. So with these settings in place, we should be able to connect to our main PC. And I actually said version one, not version two. All right, and we'll accept our configuration and we're logged in. All right, from here, we can also do some other cool stuff such as a file transfer. Um, honestly, I would probably stick to the command line, but if you're not familiar with command line that much, you can actually do transfers right here. Just going to tools, SSH file transfer, typing your host in and then username, password. And then let's go ahead and transfer just a sample file here. We'll go ahead and do readme and uh, make sure you put your full path. Uh, don't try to use like a tidally to go ahead and uh, send it to like the home directory. You need to actually specify the full path name. So we'll do home dash Titus to get in our home directory. And then we'll call this readme dash test dot txt and we'll click transfer. You'll see the green bar that's done. And if we come back into here, you can do a listing and you'll see that the readme dash test dot txt is operational and we can actually cat that just to see what that is. And you'll see that this is the remote NG test file we just sent to it. So these are just some basic functions, actually accessing them, putting RDP, doing SSH, uh, all those things. Whenever you add those new connections, just remember right click, new connection, and then you can easily connect up uh, just ch changing all these different things in here. Very powerful tool. I like it uh, as you can do a lot of different redirects too with the RDP. So on Linux, we use Remina, uh, which is a little bit different. Uh, it's not quite as powerful as Remote NG, but I honestly think it's a little cleaner. So it just depends on what you like to use. For Windows PCs though, 
obviously remote ng is a great tool as you're able to get into a ton of different systems and uh, you don't have to constantly be pulling up like remote desktop connection manager uh, there used to be another one that's a little bit out of date now i don't even know if it works with the latest protocol of rdp but uh, i think it was remote desktop manager is what i was using but uh, with remote ng it's a far better tool for rdp especially where uh you know Traditional RDP connections through uh, MSTSC is just not great. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and close out of Remote NG. And we'll go ahead and say yes to close all connections. And we're out. All right. Now, the second option for Linux people is called Ramina. It's an amazing, amazing tool. Uh, if you go to Ramina from the start menu, you can launch into it. So if you actually here, you type Ramina. You can launch into it. I actually don't need to launch it. I actually have it auto launch, so it sits in my tray at all times. So I can actually just left click it and then launch directly into whatever I want, whether it's a VNC or RDP server. I'll go ahead and pull up the main window. You can kind of see some of the things I have going on. Um, I have two networks, obviously. I went ahead and connected my work PC up. I didn't show the RDP connection on remote NG, mainly because um, I have a lot of security connections and I don't trust the Windows PC, especially here because I do some kind of uh, port forwarding. So for security purposes, I don't want to expose anywhere I would actually do it. So I actually connect through uh, VPN and then I actually am on my work network and then I can actually do a proper RDP. So I'll go ahead and RDP and just kind of show you what that looks like. So I'll just go work and we'll just pull up uh, one of the, the VPN or one of the domain controllers that's just a virtual machine. And I'll just close out of this. And as you see, it just pulls right up. Oh, this is actually connected through a VPN to that machine. Uh, as far as the tools on the left-hand side, you can see full screen mode. If you want to just go completely full screen, uh, you can do toggle dynamic uh, update, which this actually isn't enabled right now, but it'll automatically try and change the Windows PC to be a certain resolution. I usually just scale everything as I'm usually, if I'm remoting into a server per se, a lot of times I'm just doing a couple basic changes. So that's about it. And of course, it's, since it's a Windows machine, there's, there's always updates available. I usually update these on the weekends. I always delay until at least a Sunday because updating Windows on the regular is just not a good idea, especially on a daily basis. Now with Ramina, I do want to show one last thing. There are a lot of different tools as far as protocols you can do. These are just some basic ones I've done. I've actually gone past this. You can do NX protocol. Uh, at one time, there actually was a TeamViewer plugin. I found this very hit and miss when it came to Ramina. I prefer to you just use TeamViewer itself if I'm going to use that uh, way of remote access. But these ones always work. SSH, VNC, Spice all of all of the fixings here when it comes to uh, remoting into something using one uh, tool. And that's it for remote tools. Use these. They're great. If you're on Linux, Remina, Windows, Remote NG, uh, I couldn't imagine using like the stock tools. Uh, they drive me crazy. Uh, specifically, Microsoft Remote Desktop Connection is just a nightmare to deal with when you're using the Microsoft Client Connect. Uh, I really, really don't like that. Uh, but other than that, this is how I remote into PCs for the most part. If you have any questions, be sure and let me know down in the comments. And as always, thank you to all my patrons. Without you, I couldn't make videos like this one. And I'll see you in the next one.